Hey guys, what is up? It is Stoto245 here, bringing you some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. And this is a team deathmatch on the map Fallen. I was playing with a full party using the M4A1 with Red Dot. And, you know, this isn't the most spectacular game. It's really not anything special. But I was just loving this map. It was a you know decent gameplay I had. Pretty good, actually. You know, it's above my average. And thought it would share it with you guys. Just wanted to talk a little bit more about the game, bring you guys some great content. This is another map I haven't shown you guys yet. So if you guys haven't yet got the game, you know this is another map on it. It's one of my favorites, actually. Um, what I wanted to, you know, kind of talk about is something I'm getting frustrated with: the connections in this game. Um, you'll like I find that a lot of times, you know, I go to get into a match, and it takes forever to find a match. It's horrible. Uh, this is, it's the worst, like Modern Warfare 2 got a little bit slow at times, and Black Ops could sometimes, but this is awful. Every single time it takes forever. And I've talked to you know, a bunch of other people that all have the same problem. And then, you know, another thing is, you know, once you get in, sometimes they'll take you and you'll get, you know, where it's like connecting to the game and it shows the map and it's going along the bottom, get all the way to the other side, and then all of a sudden, you know, just go black screen and kick you out. And it does that a lot. Um, it also, I've noticed sometimes, like in the middle of the game, just black out, say, you know, server, you know, no connection to server. And I have a pretty good internet connection, and it should not be happening this much. I, I, I don't understand it. Um, they, I really am hoping they get it fixed. It's just, I don't know, it's really bothering me. It's this shouldn't happen. Sometimes there'll be problems where you'll go to get into a lobby and it you know, doesn't do anything really. And so you go to exit out, like you go to exit back, you know, just to the main menu, and it'll just freeze your PlayStation. It just freezes and doesn't let you do anything. And so you have to restart the PlayStation. I mean, yesterday I had it do it three times to me in a row. I mean, come on, that's, that's ridiculous. That, that shouldn't be happening. Yeah, I mean, other than that, the game is awesome. I, mean, I love it. It's like Modern Warfare 2, but just better. I mean, it's a mix of that and Black Ops, which is just great. And it's I'm really, really enjoying it. Definitely worth the money. Um, COD Elite isn't working at the moment. It work well. It works on and off, and so that's kind of unfortunate. But you know, they'll get that fixed. I'm sure they will. You know. By the sounds of things, they're going to be, you know, supporting it kind of like Treyarch did. They said, you know, Treyarch kind of set a benchmark when they were supporting Black Ops, and so that, you know, that's what they're going to do with, you know, Modern Warfare 3, which is, you know, very, very relieving because Modern Warfare 2 was not supported at all. They, like, didn't fix anything until, you know, after the game's, you know, main lifetime. You know, I mean, they did like one or two small things, but they never, they never fixed the major things, and that's just, that's unacceptable, and that's pretty bad for a game developer. So, you know, hopefully, uh, they, you know, keep their word and actually do because it makes such, you know, so much better of a game when they actually support it, and it's just, you know, it, it's nice to know that they're. You know that they actually listen to what the you know the actual gamers want from a game, so that is good. So I was really happy to hear that. Hopefully that's true. <laughs> Look at that! I got saved. I ran completely out of ammo with my gun. Didn't have a secondary, and you know, luckily he was right there to save me. You know, that's the good thing about a full party. You can actually count on them. <laughs> and you're just like. When you're just with random people, you can't count on them at all. It's horrible. So, it that's it. You know, it wasn't a spectacular game. I thought it was pretty good. You know, I was using the M4A1. You know, things were going good. But and, you know, I went 15 and four. You know, not great, but you know, acceptable. It's what, a 3.75 ratio. So, I was really happy with that. Thanks for watching. You know, please rate, comment, subscribe. Definitely a lot more coming. I've already got some videos, you know, just about ready to go. So, hopefully, hopefully you guys are looking forward to it. You know, I hope you guys have a good one.